Hey guys, John here. Welcome to 5-Minute Presets. Today we're in Pigments and let's go to File, New Preset and start the clock here. So I thought it was kind of, might be kind of cool to take this sample engine here, turn this on and turn that off. And this is the only engine that we're going to be using for this. Maybe the utility, we'll see. But maybe make something cool out of this thing. Because it's kind of bland when you first open this up here. Okay, maybe a slow LFO to modulate the pitch slightly right here, and maybe do a small little amount like this. It's gonna be first envelope, and this is going to be free running, I suppose, but we do need to fade this. And speed it up. Maybe do some unison. Oh god, that is muddy as hell. Okay, let's change that first off. Let's go to the EQ. And maybe send it through something like a Jupiter 8? Maybe a 12. A little cutoff here couldn't didn't hurt anybody. But maybe change the sustained a bit here. I might as well do our cutoff here while we're at it here. Something kind of like down like this. And you know what? Let's give it all the way here. Why not? Cut. And then obviously here's some res if we want to change that as well. I always keep TRD, good lord. Maybe, I wonder if the mini might be kind of cool for this. You know what, I'm going to use the utility because I want to sub here. You know what, it is what it is. Sorry. Here we go. Macro number three. Let's turn this on here. Something kind of healthy like that. So we have a good range sub. Okay, that's going to be cool. And let's do it. spend our next couple of minutes in the effects here. So we have our EQ we kind of burned up this slot here. I kind of want to do some of that Juno 6 trick here where we have two of these courses here. Change the phase a little bit on one of them and kind of just reduce the dry wet a little bit here. And do our macro effects while we're here to kind of just do things while we do them, right? So 24%, something like that. 25, that's fine. Down here, 25, that's cool. Let's put a delay here. Oh, quarter is kind of cool, actually. Here, let's do our EQs. Little stereo spread. And add our macro down over here. It's going to be 20%. That's kind of cool. 20%. And you know what's something we haven't actually used in a good while is the shimmer reverb. Okay, we need ducking for sure. Maybe a little less feedback. Should we go an octave up or maybe perfect fifth? I kind of like that really soaked and what if, what if, and hear me out, maybe we can do a stereo pan. A little too much here. What if we also did a send here? Let's get a little crazy, guys. I kind of want a little bit more reverb here to soak this thing up. A little bit bigger. 
all stereo width. And the last thing we need to add to this here. Oh, okay, we're already out. Whatever, we're here anyway. Okay, so time is up here, so let's see. Let's play this here and... Okay, yeah, the drum loop doesn't work for this patch here. Need to turn this up here. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, it's cool. Although one thing, you know what, that I really actually thought is actually a bad idea that I did is put this in here. It's kind of too much. Okay, that's pretty cool. A very distant piano. We can always darken it too with our uh, with our nice modulation. Those higher notes are kind of nice, right? It's kind of distant-y, it's kind of airy. So what's this sample called here? The Piano C3. Um, let's see, Airy Piano? Yeah, I guess Airy Piano is kind of cool. So if you want to get Airy Piano, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours with a click and a download and an install. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.